all this is past a cliff. Uh, I did make a video, and I hope you watched it, on discerning the Lord's body. And I just wanted to just do a little bit further teaching on that, because I uh, just want to refresh on what I just taught before, <clears throat> and then look at one verse I think which is very important, which uh, I think you need to um, get a teaching on and get a grip off. So I'm just going to share just briefly a little bit of what I shared last time was that when we take breaking of bread and when we take communion, we must remember that we're acknowledging, like it says in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 here, it says in verse 24 that we do it in remembrance of him and in verse 25 it says in remembrance of him. And we remember what Jesus did, but before the cross, he took the stripes and by his stripes were healed. Therefore, communion can bring his healing. And therefore, also, when we take the cup, we remember what Jesus has done on the cross and therefore we are righteous in him. And also, just to refresh it, the early church saw so much importance on it. In Acts chapter 2, verse 42, they did the apostles' doctrine and breaking of bread and fellowship and prayers. Breaking of bread was one of the main things that they did. They acknowledged what God had done for them and reminded themselves that, that God, what the Lord done for them. And also in verse 46, they did it with singleness of heart. And I also said <clears throat> on the last um, teaching was in verses in verse 27, it says, Wherefore, un man shall eat this bread unworthily, in other words, in an unworthy manner, in a manner that's not worthy to the Lord, not acknowledging what he's done on the cross and what he's done for us. And it also says that in verse 29. It's an unworthy manner, not an unworthy manner. But I just wanted to look at the verse that comes before that, that seems to cause other people a lot of problems. And in verse 28 it says, But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of the bread and drink of that cup. And it's about examine so that he, and it goes on to say in verse 29 there, so he that eateth and drinketh unworthy, eateth and drinketh down everything to himself, deserve, not deserving the Lord's body. And that verse 28 brings a lot of um, problems to a lot of people because you can be in a situation where people can say, and this is what I don't see, that <clears throat> if you've done something wrong or you've fallen out with someone, you examine yourself and you find out, you know, you're not right before the Lord, etc., you can't take that bread. Well, I don't personally believe that because this is this particular scripture is not talking about you examining what you've done wrong or where you've been wrong or what you've done wrong. You're right. It's not because of what you've done, but because of what Jesus has done. And therefore, his blood cleanses you from all sin and your sins <laughs> he remembers no more. And that, that's that's the important thing to remember. Hebrews will teach you that. Hebrews chapter 10. God, God doesn't remember you. Sin. So you're righteous in him today. So what we, when we examine ourselves, let a man examine himself and so let him eat. He's recognizing what the Lord has done. It's what the Lord has done for you. That's what you're recognizing. You're recognizing what God has done for you, where he's made you righteous. You're recognizing the righteousness of God where you are. That's what you're, that's what you're examining yourself. You're examining yourself and you're examining yourself. Say, Lord, I'm righteous in you. I'm, I've been made perfect in you. I've overcome you, not by anything I've done, but by your blood. You know, I'm righteous, and therefore I can take, I'm examining where I am in you, therefore I can remember where I am in you, therefore I can remember that your blood cleansed me, therefore I can remember that you have made me righteous in you, therefore I can see that your stripes, by your stripes, I'm, I'm examining myself where I am in you, Lord, where I am in you. It's not about examining sin, it's about examining where we are in the Lord, and, and that's what I see so clearly about this. So, there's no condemnation to those that are in Christ Jesus. There's no condemnation to those that are in Christ Jesus. I fully believe this, and it comes down to the breaking of bread. If you feel condemned in any way, it's not God. God does not condemn his people. So therefore, you're free to take bread, not because of what you are, <laughs> what you've done, it's on the same basis of what Jesus has done. So you're examining yourself as to where you are in God and recognizing what he's done. Therefore, you can take the bread freely. So don't allow people, people or messages to condemn you in the sense that you can't take it because you've not done this, you've not done that. It's because of Jesus you're worthy today, not because of what you've done. It's Jesus made you righteous, therefore you can take the bread. So I just wanted to make that very clear this morning and, and very clear today on this video that, <clears throat> that God has made you righteous. So the examining is examining where you are in the Lord and not the sins you've done. It's, this, this is clearly teaching, and Paul was clearly teaching, examine yourself where you are in the Lord. You are free 
to take the breaking of bread and acknowledge what God has done for you and say, Lord, I take this and I receive your healing health. I receive your righteousness because of the blood. And God will make that more and more real to you. We become stronger and stronger and stronger in your health and your walk with freedom. And you'll find that God will be more and more real to you and Jesus will be more real to you. So the Lord richly bless you. Amen. Hello, this is Pastor Cliff Chapman. I just want to take this opportunity to thank you all for the time you spent watching my videos. I'm just saying to you today that if you want to get in touch with me with any ideas, anything you would like help with, or if you don't attend a church at the moment, you want more help with Bible study, then please feel free to contact me. I have contact places on my Facebook page, Pastor Cliff Chapman Evangelist Ministries, also at my email address, which is at the end of every video, and my own mobile number. If you cannot use any of them, you can also get through, get contact me through members page on Task Jesus. Do feel free to contact me because I'm here to help. I'm here to help you grow in the Lord. The Lord bless you all richly.